So far, we've been creating our HTML directly in JavaScript. And I mentioned in an earlier video about how I don't want to cross the screen streams, and I don't want CSS in my JavaScript, and I don't want HTML in my JavaScript. I know it's the easiest, but uh, it's not good for maintainability, and it's much more difficult to collaborate on. So what we want to use instead is a template system. So here's a fairly popular one in JavaScript. It's called Mustache. So I'm going to click on JavaScript here, and it'll take me to the documentation. So I want to use the Mustache templates on my website, and I specifically need this mustache.min.js file. So I could download the whole thing, but I really only need that one file. So I'm just going to go to raw here and, and copy and paste all this and make a new file. So inside my JS folder, I'm going to make a new folder called or a new file called mustache.min.js. I'll just paste all that stuff in there. And then I'm going to include it on here. All right. So I've got the mustache. Uh, JavaScript included, and now I can use this. And if you read the documentation here, it shows you, it steps you through how to do the different things. Specifically, we want to load our templates um, separately. Uh, we want to include them outside of our primary HTML. So what I've got here, uh, I have a little bit of data. There's three dinosaurs, they're in an array. Each one is an object like this. And I want to create some JavaScript that will loop through all of these dinosaurs and just output them onto the page. So firstly, I want to create my template. And the templates go into script tags here, as it shows right here. You have to give it an ID and a type, template mustache. So I'm going to go like that. So there is my script tag my template. So I want it to go into the OL. So that means it needs to be li elements. So I'll put li elements here like this. And then I'll do an h2 for the name of the dinosaur. And I'll do a paragraph for the diet like that. So I've got my sort of generic template set up. And if you look here, it shows you that when you want to output some information, you just put double curlies like that, and you output it into the that location. So inside the h2 here, I would just put some double curlies. And inside the diet right here, I put some double curlies. Now, the question is, where does this information come from? And this information actually comes from an object. It's the key or, or the property of the object. So we have objects over here in our data. We have one called name and one called diet. So those are the things we want to use. So in here, we'll put name. And in here, we'll put diet. So that's the information we want to fill out. All right, so we're really close. Our data here is actually repeated over and over again. So we can just repeat it um, continuously. So using mustache, it allows us to loop over things also. So if we just scroll down here, you can see that um, if we put in a, like a loop like this, it will loop over all the information for us. But it requires that our information be set up in a very specific way. We have to have a key in our thing called Stooges, and then it will over loop over that information. So in here, really what we need is we need to have an object like this with a key called dinosaurs. And that needs to be an array. So I'm just going to delete some stuff here. So that is an array here, like this. And then all these are in that sub array, like that. And then we'll just close off our object. So this is actually, we have a variable. It's an object. The first property in that object is called dinosaurs. It's called the same thing, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be called dinos if we wanted. That thing is an array. And inside that is our three pieces of information. If we go back here, now we can use this loop syntax like they show right here to loop over those things. So we'll go uh, hash dinos which is what we called our array inside of here. Do some indentation, and we'll close it like dinos, like that. And now we have a template that will output all the LIs we need in order to put into our OL here. So we have it almost ready. We just need to actually make it work. 
So firstly, if we look back at the documentation here, uh, a little bit higher up, it shows us how to render a template right here. So first we'll create a variable called template and it's equal to hash template because we're grabbing that piece of information by its ID. So we're grabbing this thing. Specifically, we want everything inside it. So that's its HTML like that. Now it here, it recommends that we parse it. So we'll type mustache, mustache dot um, parse template. Okay, so we've got that. And finally now, um, we can use it. So we this says here that we should create a variable called rendered and then we render it with our information. So we'll create a variable called rendered and it's equal to mustache dot render the name of our template and our information dot render our template is called template and then our information is actually stored over here in the dinos variable so the dinosaurs variable so we'll just place that here and then we can take that rendered thing and stick it into some sort of element so we're going to stick it into the class of dinos here so we'll do dollar sign dot dinos dot html is equal to rendered all right so let's go see how far we got this to work so i'll go refresh and there we go so we are actually loading the data from here using this template and using the mustache rendering system it's rendering the whole template out for us spitting out all the allies and putting them into our ol just like that for us